Hello friends, how's everybody doing out there? This is your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, the British campaign, normal campaign with uh, Rear Admiral Jeffrey Morris with adaptation which is scaling. Grand Hiver is next. Yes, we go against the odds, even if it is hard, if we just do it. Alright, so this I think is going to be a big one. It's a big battle. It's got a lot of ships. I have a small cutter and a one brig fire ship. We have two rookie ships. Okay. So again, it probably matters on where you put ships. Like, you know, my head's been out of the game, so I, I don't know. I think the three ships are important. So I think I'll put those two there. And should I go with the Romney? Now I don't remember which one of these comes in first or second, so... I don't know, like this is just going to be a gamble and a guess. But as you can see, we have Fair Lady, Liverpool. Let's go with Martha and Diana. I guess we should uh, probably go in with Elizabeth. Then the two rookie ships, Black Cat and Scorpion, and Dublin will come from behind. Now, like I said, it matters on where you put your ships for this battle. I just don't remember, so I'm just going to go in like this. Okay, so it's a rainy, foggy, all right, so it looks like they gave us the four ships, ah, so this probably ain't, okay, so if I got those four there, Oh, yeah, and we got these guys right here. Okay, well, um... Jeesh, I would not want to waste a fire ship here. So if I would have put three of my best ships, I could have taken out all of these. Like, this is not bad at all. So, yeah, I don't know... Can I tell the fire ship to get over here, maybe? It's probably going to take a broadside, but... Let's cut... Let's cut this... Sh okay, yeah, so I... Okay. Yeah, so, uh, boy... I think these ships... Like, I'm not even sure, but... Why don't we have these ships go to there? and stop right and I, and I already broke them so I'm gonna have to put them I'm gonna have to put them back connected so yeah I just want these guys to go to maybe here and stop because I, I need to concentrate on this like I'm gonna think that Durrington and Sally could take all four of these ships but Romney is in the wrong spot. Like, I don't need Romney here, obviously. So, yeah. So, this, this here is, as you can see. So, you get three ships, which I knew would be important if these were, like, really big badass ships. But they're not. So, um, 
All right, let's let's go ahead and try to do this. Oh yeah, so see my ship right here is shooting that ship right there, so I could tell it to hit it right there. Repair. Okay, and what I can see right here is um, if, if I tell this ship to go after this one, as he's going by, he can, he can pretty much do a lot of damage to that one. And like I said, this ship here has got to be able to take him out and then come back for this one right here. <clears throat> And matter of fact, I think I can s tell Romney to go this way. Hey now, remember what I remember what I told you about in the last video? I told you that a ship shooting can actually blow up a ship. Now there, there, there. Right now, that just happened. See? Didn't I just tell you that that, that can happen? So there she goes. She, she's gone. And unfortunately, yeah, maybe I could send Romney that way. But now this ship's probably going to try to get Romney. Yeah, and, and and I might maybe I won't try to get him. Maybe I'll just shoot him. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if this strategy strategy is gonna work, but we're we're kind of doing that, and I guess I don't know if, if other ships are gonna come from everywhere else, but so these guys uh, can now come this way. And poor Romney has to go by this ship here
Oh my goodness, this is not the way I wanted it to go down. All right, now unfortunately what has happened is I'm going to have to get this ship over there. Um, I'm going to need to drop out somebody because we went past the, and it's not letting me do something. So now I got to actually drop out a hundred guys. Dang, they almost gave up. All right, well, um, I'll put these two guys on this ship right here. Okay, well now, um, now this ship that we got, I think it's time for them to get out of here because this ship will just end up giving it up. So this big bad boy over here is on fire, so... So the problem I got is I got to just separate these two ships. Dang it. Anchor, come on. Okay, now you go off that way. Okay, so this this is gonna get a little ugly, I think.
All right. Well, now that I got this one by, I can now maneuver this ship. Okay. Ah, he's trying to find this ship here. Um, when I send this one in, where are all my other ships? Oh, they're way over here. Man. Ah, oh, they weren't going on full speed. No wonder. Now they should all be going on full speed. Because, you know, I can't fight this with just two ships. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Okay, so anyways, all right, so I think uh, I'm going to try to get this ship here, and what he's going to do, we're going to go to Canister, and he, he's going to try to take this one out right here, because he's going against the wind, so we might be able to just pull him in. So if I, can, if I can get him and then have these two ships head out this way, that'll force these guys to come this way. And now he's going to try to do that to me, so I think what, what Sally has to do is Sally has to start working this way. Okay, because if I can get Sally going, you know, and, and she's doing, she put some good damage on that ship. And as I guessed on that, that's working out so far, so that, that'll be okay. Now, if, yeah, good, so I can put the minimum on, and then I can tell this ship to get over here, and then, uh, this ship will try to go that way for now. So yeah, that worked out. And this one's sinking, so I don't know if it'll can if it can if it can get out, you know, without sinking. Um, and if it does, so what? So now, now that I got Sally the right way, I think she can come over here and take this one out. All right, so that's working out. Yeah, it's too bad, you know, that this one might sink.
All right. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I think uh, this this ship's taking a long time to move, so I'm just going to anchor it. I'm going to tell my ship to get going because my ship should be able to get going faster than that ship. So unfortunately, he's just going to sit here. Hey, all right, and my ships have arrived. Oh, and more enemy ships are on the way, but... All right. All right, then let's... Let's have these guys uh, go right to here. And now this ship... Oh, come on. Come on. No, you're not. Oh, oh it's, it's doing that stupid waiting for group stuff. Okay. This is why you don't want chains because of the, that stupid thing that it's doing. Okay, so then I'll tell one ship to go there and one ship to go here. And this ship has to get over here because... This ship should no longer have that problem, but it still says it's waiting for group. There is nobody attached to this ship right now. So it should not be waiting. Okay, tell me please what it, what ship is, is on this. I told this ship to go here, so it's no longer attached to that ship. If I tell this ship to go over here, it is no longer attached to that ship. If I tell this ship to go over here, it is no longer attached to this ship, right? So this ship should now not be saying it needs to be... Look at This is bull crap. Oh my goodness. It's bull. There is no ship that it's waiting for. I mean, that's so ridiculous. Look at, they're, they're all, all these ships are behaving badly at the moment. Come on, fair lady. Well, I'll tell you, sometimes the battles just don't go the way you want them to. You know, like, my goodness. You saw that, right? These four ships were connected originally. And I wanted him to get this ship here. And it says it's waiting for a group. So I took each one of these three ships that was connected to him off. And I told them to go different ways. And it still said that I did it again. And it still said that. And so therefore the ship would not turn around and it wouldn't get into position. But but now it is. So we'll just go with it. But you can see how stupid things like this can happen in the game. And it, and it makes you want to not connect ships together because of that problem. Alright, so I have two ships here. Um... Let's just stop right there. Let's just stop right there. And let's let him come over here and get this ship. I mean, look what I, uh, okay, you know, ah, and, and, and look what he did. Okay, then, uh, Liverpool, go ahead and try to get him, okay? And shoot canister. And just go right there, I guess. Unbelievable.
Man, I, I'm telling you, and then this ain't happening, so... Uh, it, it looks like this might be a bigger ship than what mine is, but look how close we are. What do we have to do? Actually go past the ship? Alright, let, let's just anchor for a minute, because cause that's not working. I mean, this guy is, is surrounded. Yeah, and he's going to get away. Oh, my. Uh, this is really annoying me, <laughs> I'll tell you. Ay, ay, ay. What did I have to do to get that ship? Man, unbelievable. I had this ship side by side. I mean, uh, seriously, folks. Seriously. This is why I enjoy fire ships, because I don't have these kind of problems with fire ships. Fire ships, I can just connect the ship, set it on fire, and be done with it. The only tricky thing about it is to make sure that the fire ship can land its target and you can try to safely get the crew to get away. That's about it. It's the only thing with fire ships. Fire ships, you know, like I said, the reason I really like fire ships in this game is simply because, well, you've seen how I put that big ship on fire, right? Simple. It's a done deal. And, and the ship, you know, was getting shot by those other ships and stuff and I almost lost the crew at the point but you know he he got to deliver his product and I got to get those two guys on one of these ships that are actually now sailing away uh, it's probably the one that's somewhere wherever but anyways that's why you know that's that was my rant okay so you you just you just heard my rant and that, that's my rant. Bad. So now I have to dedicate two ships to get this guy. So one of them, one of them has to get lucky on boarding. There we go. Yeah. Okay, good. Both ships are boarded now. It's a slow process, it looks like. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm um, making a, a little blockade line at the moment 
to get these three together and get them to be repair themselves. And you know what I'm saying? Like I already told these guys, uh, like, look, uh, we put a minimum crew on. I want you guys to just break away from this ship so I can get this one out of here, okay? Get out of there. Jeez. Come on, over here, please. Let's go. Now, the Liverpool lost its bow sprite. Bow sprite. Bow sprite. Bow sprite. Not bow. Bow. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, we got to get this over here. Come on, fair lady, and, and repair yourself. And Sally. Now, the Liverpool has got to repair and, and go after this ship here. Now, you're going to repair. Now, you, you're going to just get going. You're going to anchor. And you, you're going to get going. I would actually have liked uh, Durrington over here, but the Liverpool is going to have to do it. You know, what I think, I think Liverpool ought to just... Uh, Just anchor and shoot. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that ship at the moment. And I'm going to try to get this ship out of here. And we got other enemy ships coming. And we have another group of ships on the way. Now, I have no clue. Okay. Okay, these ships get over here. I don't know if the wind keeps changing. I just want these guys to sail with the wind and get out of here. Along with this one. And then uh, when the enemy get here, we'll face whatever we have to face. I think he's trying to follow them, I think. Um... Okay, so w it looks like we have Do I can I even tell where the enemy is coming from? Oh, they're actually they're actually over there. Are they going after these ships? Okay. Then these ships... Man. Oh, and look at these guys are having trouble.
All right, let's go fast for a minute. Yeah, I just want these ships to just get out of here. As a matter of fact, like I said, that ship can get out of here and, and that ship can get out of here. Yeah, see, they're going, they're going after the ships. They're actually going after the ships. And of course the wind will change. Of course. Okay, so let's let's go to two times the speed for now because the ships that I sent that are going to go out these guys were actually going after them what a confusing battle sometimes this could be okay so then that that means that I can go ahead and get uh, Diana and Martha And we have Elizabeth. So Elizabeth and Black Cat and a Scorpion. And Dublin is just gonna Dublin's just gonna land here. So Black Cat and Scorpion are totally rookie crews. So we definitely want them to get into the battle. Yeah, they're, they're, they're set on following those ships. Hey, and this, this ship sunk. Ha ha ha. That ship sunk. Ha ha. That means the little ship that I had that went past him, took a shot at him, must have hit something that really damaged the ship. That is, that is really cool. All right, well. Okay, well, we know where the enemy is. All right, so I'll have those ships come. Oh, and look at the wind keeps changing. Now, the wind should not change that much. How many of you agree with this? Like, it, it just changed a moment ago, and now it's changing again. Right? Isn't that ridiculous? But my ships are, are closing in. So these are basically the rookie ships. I mean, Elizabeth has one star. Black Cat has nothing. And the Scorpion, nothing. So I guess I can go in with these three, and then I have uh, these other two that are going to be, they're already experienced, and they'll be back up. So let's go fast again, because like I said, this battle has not gone the way... This, as you can see, this is a tricky battle. Because of the weather and, and, and the changing of how it changes all the time.
All right, let's get back to normal speed and uh, Elizabeth, can't you shoot that one right there? Yeah, and because I couldn't get my ships over to this area, now the AI is going to have an advantage of coming this way with the wind. And of course, these are rookie ships, so I'm not going to be able to... I don't. At least I can repair this one. Yeah, look, he already knocked out the boat yet, and he already put me on fire. Unbelievable. Well, like I said, you know, if I lose a ship, I lose a ship, I guess. But yeah, this is this is really annoying because of the way the wind changed twice in a in a matter of like ten minutes and stuff. Now I do have my little tiny fire ship there. And then I thought these two Oh yeah, it's because of the wind changing again. That's why they're having their problem. Well, I'm gonna see if I can do it, you know, if I can do this, but You know what I could do? I could tell them all to come down this way. I I, I don't know. Like I'm thinking, you know, I could tell them. I, I don't know. I mean, seriously, you're going to have to turn around. You're going to have to turn around. You're going to have to turn around. Yeah, so like I said, I'm fighting this with rookie ships, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try to do this this way though. He, I think he's staying here so he gets this crew on here. So that would allow all my ships to at least take a shot at him. Okay.
Okay, man. All right, instead of going for the mass, I got to now go for the body of the ship because of the simple fact that we're not doing any damage if we're just trying to knock out a mass. So if if what I'm trying to do is do what the AI is doing. Oh, and he's he's against the wind. So now he's got that problem. See, this is this is problematic. Oh yeah, yikes! You know, and I'm doing this with my rookie, my rookie ships. You know, it's to give them experience. We'll see how this turns out, but but this poor ship. All I wanted to, wanted it to do was to get out of the battle, but because of the wind changing. You see, it, and the problem with Elizabeth is, uh, you know, she, she's trying to repair herself. And unfortunately, Black Cat can't. Now, Black Cat should try to get him, too. Hey, now, Black Cat got lucky. It looks like we knocked out a mass. So, Black Cat got lucky, I think. Holy, let, let, me, let me anchor him for just a moment. Look at... He knocked out the middle mass. So he got lucky. All right, so now if I can get Elizabeth to close in on this one. She's really hurt. All right, we got two two going down. So I think all we got to do is do this, and I would have done this with all three of my rookie ships. And this ship didn't get destroyed. Let's see if this is going to go down. I I'll tell you what, I'll be happy to get out of this battle. I'll tell you that right now. Just because of the way the wind changed, like like why did it have to change so many times? And and look at you look how much damage this Elizabeth is. And she's a rookie, like those are two rookie ships, so they might even lose the boarding.
Okay. Minimum crew. Minimum crew. Yeah, look at wounded, wounded, wounded. Unbelievable. Yeah, look, they even gained a star. Will you guys stop? I told you guys, once, man, I don't know why they don't release it. Like, if I tell them what direction to go, they should automatically go to that direction. Alright, like I said, the scorpion can't repair himself, so... The scorpion finally got to shoot at him from the rear. Okay, so uh, let's see if I can get the black cat over here because all the scorpion can do right now is just you know now if they say to do canister here now what I could do is I, I could do round ball to do damage you know what I mean like Cause see, yeah, by you know, round ball, I can I can do more damage to him. I probably should just have Elizabeth stop and and repair herself, you know. But Black Cat and Scorpion can't because they don't have the kits. But Black Cat isn't uh, too hurt, so that's kind of cool. All right, well, he, he's, he's still messing around with us. So we gotta get going again. And this ship's gotta get going. Come on. Yeah, just like I said, I can't believe that it's this battle has gone the way it, it has. You'll have to tell me what you think.
I mean, it's just, it's that, that it's a stormy time and it's, it's that wind. I'll tell them to get off that for a minute. Yeah, you know, I might, like I said, I might be content on just, like, trying to damage him and sink him. You know what I mean? Like, right here. And I can bring this ship right over here to shoot him. And we'll just, we'll just have a shootout. I mean, these ships can't repair themselves, so if he can destroy one of my ships, he will, I guess. And in a way, it'll give these guys some experience, like, Black Cat got one star, it looks like. All right, here we go. All right, well, Elizabeth was repairing herself, but I have to tell it to repair itself. Yeah, consider, and like I said, these guys can't repair themselves. They're not seriously damaged like, like he is. I'm really surprised. I just can't believe this one ship is, is doing all this maneuvering and getting away from me. Come on. Oh, look. I lost two officers.
Hey, looks like Elizabeth got another star. And Black Cat got its first star. The only one who hasn't is Scorpion right here. But let's see if Scorpion can do it. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop out some from Black Cat. Yeah, one of the one of these officers were killed. Yeah, look, killed in action. Yep, I was killed in action. Look, that, and that's me in the game, and I and I got killed. Oh well. So yeah, I got <laughs> I got my name in the game, and I got killed. <laughs> So that's why I always name myself Edna as the Admiral. <laughs> okay, folks. So if you saw that, you see that I'm dead, right? Looks like it. Okay, well, consider it how this battle went, right? I lost 25% of my force. So that's not bad when you consider how this went. We each had 11 ships. Yeah, look. Okay, so I just got into the game. And now I have to go RIP for myself. Yep. That's why I named myself the Admiral when I start the campaign. Because uh, that, that Admiral will never die. Because if he gets knocked out in this here, he'll end up in the harbor where I got killed here. And if you look at it too, right, what's the odds, what are the odds that of all of these officers, it's my officer that, that that's me that gets killed in the game, right? Like, isn't that kind of funny? Isn't it kind of funny? Like, seriously, let me know what you think in the comments if you, if you want to comment on that, right? I just get in the game, I, t I just tell you, that you get a, like a 10 or a 15% chance of finding your name in the game if you back this game, you know, you, you get about a... So that means I can play this campaign uh, t 10 to 15 times and I might only find my name in the game one time out of all those campaigns. So I finally get in the campaign and I get killed in the very next battle. Isn't that, is, isn't, isn't that kind of funny? Like, I'm laughing about it because I think it's kind of funny. You know what I mean? But, oh well. The only officer that dies is, is my guy. So isn't that funny? But it's okay because I named myself the Admiral. So yeah. It doesn't matter. So, you know, as always, we got to repair... And the black cat, of course, uh, I was there, but I'm no longer, so, oh well. They got their first perk, though, so that's kind of cool. And they got a first perk. And Elizabeth got a perk. Oh, we're only down to two officers. All right, well, like I said, it's kind of funny, uh, but as you can see, this is why I named myself the Admiral here, because I want to be in the game just like I'm in Ultimate uh, Ab Ultimate General Civil War, you know, you have your name as the, as the general. So this is my name as the Admiral, and I know I can't die. So 
if if he gets wounded in the in the battle he'll still be in the harbor and we'll still be in charge but my actual character died uh but whatever it's the way it is okay so now that we got that out of the way we can uh apply one uh career point Yeah, and let, I'm gonna I'm gonna go one right there. Okay, officers have a better chance of surviving. Maybe I could have saved my guy if I had this totally maxed out. I don't know, but anyways, it, it's kind of funny because, like I said, I I hardly ever see my name in a campaign. Like I, I like it's one out of every ten that I play. So I mean, uh, it's it's just kind of funny. But anyways, all right. So uh, we got through that battle. As you can see, 94,000, 12 reputation, one career point. We already applied it. Now for Glorious Tune, we got to have 10 ships. So let's just say... Let's just say, I, I don't know, let me, let me figure this out, right? Ten ships. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. And, and if I go in with the Dublin, uh, so if I go in with one fire ship, that'll give me ten. So, yeah. So then that means that was only f for about 5,000. So we finally don't have enough weapons. And again, not enough weapons. Okay, so while I have some money, can I at least give the black cat a structure repair kit? That was 10,000. Well, you know... Well, I guess I'm going to just go with what I've got, okay? That's not going to cost me anything. So Sally has these weapons. Duritan has these. The Black Cat will have these. Now the Scorpion... Let's see if we can um, give the scorpion. Yeah, because we have 400 of these. So why don't we give the scorpion these? And can we give this one a repair, structure repair kit? Because, you know, I really think those are, you know, the best things to have. So, yeah, that's 11,000. And we, we're, we're topped out, so so the Scorpion is good, and the Liverpool is good. And how about the Fair Lady? She's good. And Martha is good. And Diana is already good. And Dublin is what it can be. Oh yeah, and then I got all these ships I have to decide to do what to do with. Oh, 
Okay, so we have an, this class ship right here. All right, so we have that ship there. Hey, we got a fourth rate Razi. All right, so I, <laughs> so I got a lot of decisions to do right here because it, it's, you know, I got, I got these, all right, okay, so I, I already have Ed Beyond or whatever class, it's a fifth rate ship. Goes to 1500 weight. And I guess with the default guns, you know, it takes up almost 800 uh, pounds of it, right? So I already have this ship. And then I have a leader okay so why, why don't I I don't know All right, so I, I made a decision. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the guns off the ship and I'm going to sell it. And I'm going to take the 24 pounders off this ship, this this ship, because I'm not going to use them. And so um, I could I could buy something. Let's see. Okay, well, I don't have enough, uh, so I could buy the 12 pounders. I put those two officers on it. I might as well buy them up for now.
because I can put this one in service later on. So let's take a look at our ships one more time. Okay, so if I, you know, put structure repair kits the third tier. Okay, so then I have, it looks like I have third tier on every ship of structure repair kit. And we're down to that and we're losing, you know, money. So I think that's, hey, look, we got 630 prisoners. That's kind of weird. All right, well, anyways, folks, I think that's all that I can do. I have all the ships ready. So we're going to go ahead and save it right here. And we'll call it a day. So no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to others. This is your friend, Jeff. God bless to you and your own religion. So this is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigos and adios the lovely amigas.